All right, girl, shoot the moon. You get your camera working? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Heather. Hi, Heather. Um, I wanted to ask if your show, Magic City, had a season three, what do you think would have happened? Ooh, did you ready to see Magic City? No. That was a fun show. Um, I think if you talk to the guy who created the show, Mitch Glazer, who wrote every episode, there indeed was a season three, but he wrote a script for a film um, that we're hoping to shoot in Cuba, uh, if I ever can find the time. It's, this Walking Dead thing, it turns out that it's a full-time job. <laughs> you know, we, we, I feel like I've been shooting for like eight years straight, and um, it's only been like since April this year, but my God, we kill ourselves. We, Literally, this, this group of actors and this crew, I've never seen a group work harder in my life. We uh, sweat tears of blood and pride. Uh, and we beat the living shit out of each other, not my dad. Um, and, and it's just the greatest group of people that I've ever seen. I've never seen more passion. And I gotta say, this is it's because of you guys. Um, every, every day we show up to work, uh, we, what we do and what they've done for eight years on this show is totally for the fans. Um, we, we, I can't tell you how much we love you. I mean, to me, I've done a lot of stuff, Magic City and Supernatural, but the group of fans that I've been lucky enough to meet um, through Walking Dead all over the world are the most passionate, awesome fans. Yeah. And, and you should give yourself a hand because you are incredible. And I thank you every day. I thank you. And thanks for like you know being okay with me, except for you know the Abraham girl here <laughs> and the documentary girl over there. All right, where are we going? I'm I'm actually over here in the middle, Jeffrey. In the middle, got you. In the middle. I I don't walk very well, so they were nice enough to bring it to me. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and I, um, hi, first off, I guess. Hi. I'm Stephanie, I'm from Florida. Hi, Stephanie. Um, and I do have a question, but I also wanted to say I have my service dog here for his first ever con. Oh, how's he doing? He's doing great, and I had patches made, and I took one of your quotes from the show, and his patch says... Oh no, I can't wait. <laughs> I've waited six months for these. It says, you can breathe, you can blink, you can cry, but don't fucking touch my service dog. <laughs> That's really cool. I thought, I thought it, I'll bring it by later, you can see it. But, yes, um, ma'am. My actual question was, you and Jensen and Jared were actually my childhood uh, as Supernatural. Yeah. Um, you as John. And my question was, I'm not sure if you've probably been asked this before, but had the roles been reversed, um, had Megan been Sam and Dean's father, and had John Winchester been the leader of the Saviors, how different do you think those two shows would have gone? <laughs> Oh, uh, Supernatural would be a disaster. <laughs> Oddly enough, I think John would have been a pretty good leader. Um, I don't think he had the same sort of uh, pizzazz as the, you know, the kids would have, you know, they, they, on that show. I, I, it's hard for me to keep up, you know, 12 years. Is on the, uh, I can't keep up with anything, by the way, except for maybe like Housewives of New York. Um, <laughs> What? <laughs> um, I, I imagine those, those uh, Dean and Sam were so messed up because of John, who, you know, compared to Dean, seems like a pretty good dude. Uh, so I can imagine how messed up they'd be with Negan as their father. I don't know if they'd panned out as well as they have. Um, and as far as John being a leader, I mean, I think it's probably a different style. John would have been sprinkling salt all outside the sanctuary. And he'd have had a cold instead of a Lucille. So I don't know. And, and Negan wins, man. <laughs> Negan wins all day long. But that's a cool question. I've won that, by the way, I've never thought of in my entire life as a human being. So <laughs> touch down the human patches. <laughs> You promise? I do love me my puppies. Okay. Yeah, shoot the moon. Hi, 
Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Anya and I came all the way from Munich, Germany. Hi, thank and you for coming. So, yeah. Welcome, um, Welcome to beautiful, sunny Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I study in Texas, so I have been uh, to Georgia before, but oh. it's still always good to come back. Oh, good. Welcome. Um, yeah. And I just I gotta say, I love Negan, but uh, don't get me wrong, you'll always be Daddy Winchester to me. And I still have my fingers crossed for a comeback. Maybe one day, yeah, yeah. 14 or whatever. Yeah. Um, my question was actually, uh, you have probably like two traitors in your inner circle with probably. Dwight and maybe Eugene. Probably. So, <laughs> what do you think uh, Negan is gonna do if he finds out? Like, is he gonna ruin you, Dwight's you, you second side? <laughs> <laughs> Let's all take a wild stab at this one. <laughs> I don't think he's getting invited to a little private sweet dinner. A little barbecue. There could be some face melting involved. I mean, Dwight has one good side left, so... <laughs> he's got a whole body lagging. Negan's not, not afraid of doing anything to anybody, I don't think. Um, yeah, uh, you know, look, because I, 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 you know, Negan obviously in our world doesn't know anything yet. He thinks he's got good folks on his side. I think he really likes Eugene, and Eugene, he sees something uh, in him. He's Dr. Smarty Pants, for God's sake. From uh, <laughs> Wait, are you dressed up like Eugene? Oh, hell yeah, you got your pickles! <laughs> So much. This is why I love doing these conventions. Yeah, you look fantastic. That's a sweet mullet. You know, he has a he has a mullet year round. Like that's his actual hair. <laughs> Imagine being Josh's wife. And what have I gotten myself into? You know, year seven of the mullet. Uh, yeah, he's awesome. Um, so anyway, Negan, I think uh, I think he really likes Eugene. So I, I think our relationship. We'll see where it goes. Look, Negan doesn't know that anybody could be doing behind his back. How dare they? Um, you know. Uh, so I think the great thing about this year, and what I can't tell y'all, is that we're going to find out some more about Negan. Um, I, yeah, yeah. Which is cool because you know there's a whole backstory, and I'm sure a lot of you know. Uh, about Negan, which uh, you know, we and we haven't we haven't filmed that or anything yet. But in the course of this season, um, through a couple other characters and some conversations that Negan has, instead of just him putting on the show that we've kind of seen uh, all of last year, every time we see Negan, other than maybe in episode seven, the stuff with Carl. Um, Negan's always putting on a show, and so that's kind of his personality, being center stage and, you know, leaning and bobbing and weaving and, you know, he likes the, the being in the middle of it all. You know, this is all fun for him, and I think this year we'll have some quieter moments, uh, kind of some one-on-one -on -one interactions that uh, we'll see a little bit more of him as the year goes, and I, I'll say this, as an actor, it's been really uh, fun and interesting to kind of play this other side of Negan, um, which, you know, when you want a well-rounded character, there's, you want to see a little flip side to him. And, uh, and so I think this year is going to be fun um, as far as that's concerned. And if you're a Negan, even if you hate Negan, Abraham girl, um, <laughs> even if you hate him, I think you'll start understanding kind of why he has become the man that he has and the leader that he is. Um, and kind of why he does the things that he does. Um, and I sure hope that you guys like it because as an actor, I know it's been a, it's been a different experience than last year, certainly, um, and really fun to play. And, and I'm learning more about Negan every, every time I get to put on my leather jacket and, and my whole my lovely bag. <laughs> lovely Lucille. <laughs> I can barely hear that. Well, I do too. We can be both. She has a sore throat, everybody. Oh, 
我手。By the way, that somehow leaked into my real life. My wife is just like, dude. <laughs> so Josh's wife has the mullet, and my wife has a dude that stomps around leaning all day long. <laughs> Goddamn alpaca. <laughs> Fucking donkey. <laughs> my, my poor kid is just like, oh. <laughs> Dad, it's so awkward when you pick me up from school. Seven. It's already awkward. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Pardon me? I don't think anyone's gonna stop you. <laughs> I see you just made yourself at home. <laughs> I don't need no microphone, I'm talking. <laughs> you wanna be one of my wives? <laughs> I want you to speak your mind. Let's hear what you got. Grace and Abby. Yeah. Yeah. Freak the fuck out. <laughs> She's gonna 
be out of my Well, that would be way worse than Abraham. <laughs> Suck my nuts. <laughs>